Well, in the most bizarre of circumstances, we, uh, the disappointing part is we did enough to, to put ourselves in a really good position to win the game. So obviously really disappointed to win it. Um, after we worked through some issues with our defending between last night and today, we were pretty solid, didn't give up too many opportunities and we created a ton of opportunities on in transition. Obviously, we we put Kalman in, or we put the team in trouble, their team in trouble, um, with some of the good attacks in the second half. And Johnny did a great job to um, obviously get Kalman thrown out. We go up a man, and uh, really disappointing to to give up a goal shortly after going up a man, especially after all the hard work we had done to that point. If you think about the circumstances, this game gets rained out last night. <clears throat> We have a big game 48 hours from now. Um, the ideal thing for us is to play it on a different day. Uh, U.S. soccer, not really willing to work with us. Don't really understand that. Um, you know, I don't want to make excuses and complain, but the two entities not really working together to help us, the two entities being U.S. soccer and MLS. And here we end up having to play this game today and then turn around and play um, in two days in the afternoon. Uh, my concern is about player safety, but that's only my concern. Apparently not everybody else shares that concern. Um, so, you know, we talked about being resilient. We talked about dealing with one thing at a time. We talked about, um, you know, the, it, it is what it is, it is what it is. You know, we're the rapids. It is what it is. So <clears throat> focus and, do things that we need to do to win the game. In spite of all of that, we work extremely hard. Uh, we do everything we need to do to put ourselves in a position to win the game. And uh, the disappointment is is pretty high uh, in a lot of things right now. Uh, but all we can do is uh, get ourselves together and turn around and play in 48 hours and you know, hope that the, the stretch that we have coming up, we don't see injuries based on lack of recovery time for the players. It's entirely possible. Um, you go up a man, especially, like I said, after all the work we've done to get to that point, uh, defended really hard, defended for long stretches. Um, you know, good outlet ball. Johnny does well. We get the red card. And now we have eight minutes and if we go to extra time we have 38 minutes um and so for us we it was definitely uh, not good enough that we have this let down and a man down they're able to create a very good opportunity um do i sense that there was a letdown i just think 10 players shouldn't produce such a good opportunity against 11 uh composure uh, Diligence with the ball, taking care of the ball. Um, we defend really well, but some of the cheap turnovers just erodes the confidence that the good defending could could build. And we just have to be able to keep the ball and execute. And in moments that we execute, we're, we're as good a team as any. But in the moments where due to pressure, intensity, lack of concentration, whatever it is, we, we turn the ball over in situations and we, we hurt our own confidence within games that way. He also had the header that led to the free kick, which led to the goal. So Anthony's contributions on the day were, were excellent. Uh, as a young player stepping in for the first time, obviously very, very unusual circumstances around a game that starts last night and ends this afternoon. And uh, I thought for the whole time, he's, he's a player who pretty much every day since preseason has done a couple of things where we go, hmm, didn't realize he had that in his locker. And it's a player who has really come along and been coming along. And we were uh, obviously excited to give him an opportunity to play. And I thought he did really, really well. It's a big challenge. It's a big challenge to play a game in the middle of the day on Thursday and turn around and play in the middle of the day on Saturday. And we know that and we don't shy away from it. Uh, it's, it's now about resiliency. It's about pick ourselves up and be ready to play and do the things that we need to do. Um, you know, it's not, 
ideal. It's it's uh, certainly not uh, a situation that we would uh, look for, but here we are uh, through all the circumstances. Um, you know, we could elaborate as to what those circumstances are, but at the end of the day, we have to play a game in in 48 hours from now. So we need to do everything we can, eat properly, rest. Uh, we'll go over a game plan for LAFC tomorrow, and guys need to be able to uh, focus and execute uh, because obviously LAFC is a very good team. Um, but the fact of the matter is for all of the circumstances and all the things and all the reasons why we might bitch about everything that's happened in the last 24 hours and is going to happen in the next 48 hours. It doesn't matter how much we bitch, it is what it is. And we have to be resilient and we have to be able to rise above it. And we have to be able to, uh, in the face of what seems like pretty untenable circumstances, we have to be able to uh, lean on each other and lean on ourselves and and come up with an effort that is that is worthy of of how this team has been for a long time now which is we we don't quit we fight for each other uh in tough circumstances then we get even closer this is one of those situations where we really have to lean on each other and do everything we can to be ready to to come out and put, give a proper performance on on saturday too soon to answer that question to be honest uh we're going to see how he feels how he recovers how he how he feels tomorrow because how he feels today could be different than how he feels tomorrow um, so it's really still a bit of a wait and see game. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, again, as you mentioned, it's tough. It's coming off a hamstring and a hamstring that's been lingering for a while and to get through today is excellent. Uh, he seemed to be okay, but definitely probably the proof will be more in the pudding tomorrow. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see on that.